All right, in this video, we're going to look at just some questions related to the second derivative test. And these are just sort of, sort of uh, you know, do you know the results type questions. So suppose our function f of x has a critical point at x equals 4, and the second derivative at 4 is negative. We want to know what can we say about our function at x equals 4. Well, recall if you have a critical point and the second derivative is negative, what we can say in that case is, um, the idea is, in that case, we're actually going to have a local maximum at x equals 4. So um, since the second derivative is negative, that kind of is telling us that the function's concave down. Um, and with that being a critical point, that's going to tell us that we do have a, a local maximum. So, all right, part B here. Um, so suppose g of x has a critical point at x equals 2 and the second derivative at 2 equals 0. We want to know what can we say about the function, um, what's happening at x equals 2. Well, recall in this case if the second derivative equals 0. Uh, in that case, actually, our second derivative test is inconclusive. So what you could do in this case to figure out if you do potentially have a maximum or minimum um, is you can go back and um, use like the first derivative test. Do like the little sign chart. You know, we've seen some of these find your critical points, figure out if it's increasing, decreasing, increasing, for example. And then you'll know, okay, I've got a local maximum or a local minimum.